Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming from Beckley's Camping Center. And today we're going to talk to you about the 29M Hurricane. This is a 2018 model. And talk to you and show you what this thing looks like. As you can see on the outside, you're going to have outside TV. You can see your awning. It has no legs. You're just going to have two arms on it. Uh, and, of course, LED lights along there. And, of course, something that people have been asking for is give you something with a little bit of outside kitchen. So you see you have your um, sink, you have a refrigerator, of course there's a light out here, a little bit of storage, and of course it has a hookup for an outside grill out here as well. So that's on the outside. You can see your outside stereo speakers. One thing nice about these outside stereo speakers is notice that they're down. Most other manufacturers are putting them up high. The beauty of this is where are you sitting? You're sitting down here. So this is more at head level while you're sitting which makes it nice if you're watching a movie or if you're um, or if you're listening to some music so let's go ahead and take a look so as you come in as you come in the uh, unit here you'll see that you have um, have the controls right here for your awning for your battery disconnect for your interior lights outside lights your step and so forth so let's take a look at this you'll notice the first thing you notice when you come in there is no carpet on the floor per se. You'll see some down there in the bedroom, some up in the front here. But now this is, of course, the driver passenger area. Now this is going to be having, of course, this is the Ford V10, and you have the six-speed automatic, leveling jacks. See, of course, your AM FM CD stereo, DVD player, Bluetooth capable. Of course, generator uh, controls up here. You're going to notice also you have USB ports as well as the regular uh, car charging type ports here. Cup holders are either end. Passenger has this little flip over uh, table if you need to. You have the uh, power vent fans up in the front. And then, of course, the pull down shade in the front, which is nice. Um, that sunshade is powered. But the beauty of that is that that really gets at the sun. You're driving into the sun. You're able to put that down a little bit so that it gets it out of your eyes. So that is that part. Now stepping back, you'll see that it does have a power bed that comes across the top. And that is, you know, two people could actually sleep up there. It has a 500-pound limit, but two people can sleep up there. So this is the front area. Um, these uh, front seats do swivel around for you. You can see you have the dinette booth with the cup holders. Makes it nice for when you're traveling. You don't have cups flying everywhere. Nice window there, and that's on your door side, which is nice. And you can see your kitchen makes it nice, nice counter space. And, of course, you have a pull-out sofa for a bed, plenty of cabinet uh, space. And you can take a look at all the LED lights. This, of course, has two air conditioners. They're both ducted, which makes a huge difference. You see the TV there? Nice location. So for the person to sleep up in that front bed or if you're sitting here at the, at the dinette or on your sofa or if you spin around the front chairs. Looking into the kitchen here, of course, you're going to have the dual sink. The nice thing is, you know, you can pull one of these off. That way you can just use one if you wanted to. Gives you extra counter space. Flush mounted three burner uh, cooktop. The larger oven that you have there. Now this oven, I always tell people you can cook a 20 pound turkey in there. You just got to cook it. Uh, half at a time. So all you got to remember. Now with this here also you do have the big microwave. Some of these uh, motorhomes are putting in, you know, they have an oven, but then they're putting in the smaller of the uh, microwaves. So nice cabinetry. You look at the woodwork. I mean, they're not chintzing on the, on the door handles at all. Notice how the duct for the heat is up off the floor. It's not collecting the dust and the dirt that you're dragging in here or when you're sweeping the floor and then it's blowing it across the floor. Notice how you have a pocket door for the bathroom. How cool is that? I mean, that makes it a huge deal. You don't have a door out, out of the way. Even with it open, it's not in the way. Nice medicine cabinet. It's tall. Nice backsplash. Sink cabinetry. You see that, you know, your toilet paper holder is already there. A lot of coaches, you know, they, they give you the, the toilet paper holder, but there's nowhere to put it. At least you have places that it fits in here. Nice cabinets in the bathroom. It does have an AC duct in there, which is which is critical, and as well as 
Um, ventilation in the in the winter time. You see tub surround, nice big shower with a glass door. Look at how tall that is. It's a nice shower. So this is again the 29M Hurricane. King bed back here with the big pocket doors. I mean, and look at all the lighting. Here's a uh, stereo back here, so you can actually uh, play for the outside. Cabinets up around the top. Rear window, you can look out and you can see the ladder going to the roof there. Plenty of storage on this side. Nice little um, nightstand there. And of course, you have um, a TV back here for your entertainment pleasure. So as you see, this is the 29M. Just gonna give you a view from the front to the back while I'm standing back here. This kind of lets you see what, what you're looking at here. So this is a 2018 29M. You can see the power vent fan right over your cooktop here. Nice thing with that, all you do is you can open up this window on the right over by your sink. That's a jealousy style window, so you're not gonna be getting uh, the rain coming in if it's raining. Put a cover over the vent, and now you're just pulling that air right on through. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Just remember to ask for Paul Chamberlain. Ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, if you stop by, if you call, if you email. And be more than happy to answer any of your questions on this particular coach or any others. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.